and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya. If you're not familiar with my channel, I'm a part-time reseller. You can find me online as Red Red Vintage. I sell vintage in a few modern brands on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Etsy, Depop. I love sharing my vintage hauls with you guys. And today I have a follow-up to a video I made a few weeks ago. I shared a video where I showed you what a vintage haul at my local Goodwill looks like. And I kid you not the day that that video went live. I, you know when you're just driving around and you're like, you get the sudden urge to stop by your local Goodwill or your local thrift shop, and it's a day that you didn't plan to go sourcing, but you're like, what the heck, I'm right next door or I'm down the street, let me stop by and see if I find anything. I found another amazing vintage haul. So it's far and in between when I find such a good vintage haul that, you know, when I find it, I buy it. I don't care if I pay up because true vintage is getting hard to find. But I also did pick up a few modern brands. So it's going to be another haul where you will see the types of modern brands that I find as well as the true vintage that I found at my local Goodwill. So if you're interested in this haul, just go ahead and keep watching. If you like these types of videos and content, I really encourage you to hit like and subscribe to this channel. I do new videos every Wednesday and I would love to have you here. Okay, let's get into this haul. So here is the receipt. I paid $45.79 and it was a total of nine items. So that averages to about $5 a piece. So make sure you use your 20% off coupons. If you're in Southern California, you can sign up at Goodwill SoCal. If you sign up for their newsletter, you get a 20% off coupon each month. So the first item that I found, this was a modern item, is this pair of boots. Even though we are going out of boot season, these are Zara boots. I love the style. They are a good size. They're a size 42, which I think might be like a 910. They're in great condition. I mean, look at those. There's hardly any wear. These were $13.99, but I believe they, but yellow was the color of the week. And I had a disc, I had my coupon on top of this. So that brought the price down to $5.93. So these are boots. Up next is another modern item, but I mean, this is what I look for when I pick up modern items. It's a modern but like retro vintage inspired style. It's kind of, it's a Hawaiian print and it's a Disney print. So this is a Disney dress. Um, I'm not sure it was if it was sold at the resort or at the parks or maybe even like at Torrid or a place like that, but it's just like this Hawaiian tiki dress and it has a Mickey Mouse print. It's a great size. It's a size 20 and this was $8.99. It was a white tag, so it was full price. But minus my discount, I ended up getting this dress for $7.64. So up next, this is vintage, but I believe it's maybe like 90s, even maybe Y2K. It's an LL Bean. Again, I feel like it's late in the season, but this was a vintage LL Bean fleece sweater. It's a really pretty turquoise blue. Um, I just thought it was nice and it was color of the week. It was $6.99. $6.99 minus my discount, my price was $2.96. So I saw that, um, I think it's, I think Ginger Marvin was saying how she was having a great sell through rate for vintage LL Bean. That's why when I saw this, I considered picking it up. So I need to get this listed ASAP because <laughs> it's like, I don't think, I mean, but it's winter in other parts of the country. I mean, not everywhere is 95 degrees. So um another i mean this is like newer vintage this might be like late 90s early 2000s ll bean up next is a vintage skirt this was 5.99 minus my discount i got this for 509 and this is a vintage this looks homemade um maybe 90s floral skirt it's a really good size i want to say maybe like a 12 14 it's an elastic waist pleated floral skirt so this is going to be perfect for spring and summer 
again no tag it definitely looks homemade but it's really good quality so five bucks vintage floral skirt up next is another vintage skirt i think this might have been like made by the same donated by the same person because it's another homemade skirt it's an elastic weight very good size maybe like a 32 34 inch waist really pretty like purple and blue floral print and it's very lightweight this one was $5.99 my discount it was a $5.09 up next another vintage dress I think this might be like an 80s dress maybe even 70s but it's a really pretty wrap dress it's very sheer so i like following laura von v's videos and she does a lot of styling videos and she would even wear this kind of like as a duster or a jacket so i just think there are so many ways to style dresses and it has kind of like this little cape detail so I immediately picked this up. Again, no label, but it's just like a sheer nylon, almost polyester blend. This dress was $8.99. It was color of the week with the color of the week and my discounts. It came out to $3.81. Love. Next is a vintage JCPenney blouse. It's a really pretty lavender color and it has kind of like this ruffle neckline and these little tassel like ties. Semi sheer, also color of the week. It was $5.99. And discount it came out to $2.54. Vintage skirt. This is a Liz Claiborne, I think 90s, early 90s. Liz Claiborne, it has like this really pretty like tulip print and it's just a nice little midi skirt. It has the belt loops, it has pockets. I found a lot of skirts this time so I just thought these would be great for summer and spring. Last item, in the last video which I'm gonna link up above, I said that you know Vintage was getting harder to find and I did find one 1940s dress last year and then I walked into the thrift store and I found another 1940s dress. So here is my 1940s find at my local Goodwill for the year 2022. I am obsessed. I know it's true 1940s and not like 80s does 40s because usually I will find a lot of 80s does 40s style dresses but this is a true 1940s rayon dress you can see the button down features and the way i knew this was from the 1940s was because it has a side metal zipper so side metal zippers are synonymous with the 1940s it wasn't until the 50s that zippers moved to the back of the dress so if you see a side zipper most likely it might be early 50s 40s or even 30s this is a rayon crepe dress. Now this dress, I immediately thought of Agent Carter or Peggy Carter from um, Captain America. I just, I feel like I, um, she would wear something like this in the 1940s to go swim dancing. Love it. So this was my true vintage 1940s find at my local Goodwill. It's rare and in between when I find something that's actually 1940s or 1950s at my local Goodwill. As you can see, I find an abundance of like 80s and 90s items. Sometimes in my last haul, I found 70s. Um, sometimes I'll find 1960s, but 1940s is very rare. Um, again, I can only think of one 1940s dress that I found in the last one, two years since COVID. And this was my 1940s find for the year so far. Hopefully I'll find more. And if I do, I will be happy to share it with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what your favorite find was and what's the oldest item you found at your local Goodwill. I'm really interested in learning more about the types of items that you find at your local Goodwill. If you have a video similar to mine, tag it down below. I love watching people's finds. 
and stay tuned for more vintage hauls as well as my monthly sales videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.